Hi everyone, it's Nello. Um, today on my channel I am bringing you a shoe collection video. Um, I have <laughs> a lot of shoes, probably more than I would like to admit, um, but shoes are like one of my favorite things in the whole wide world. Um, I love everything from a cute pair of heels to a comfy pair of sneakers. I have a serious boot um, addiction, like a lot of these are boots, so but I see a lot of people making these videos um, on YouTube and they're one of my favorites to watch just because I like seeing um, people's shoe collections and you know seeing what kind of shoes they have and also finding other pairs of shoes for me to purchase and feed my addiction. So um, yeah, I have so many, so many, so um, I'm going to try to break them down into categories and I'm also going to be putting in footage of me wearing and modeling the shoes so you can kind of see what they look like. Um, to the best of my ability, I'm going to link them down below. I don't know if I'll be able to do that for every pair because some of them are a couple of years old and I don't know if they make them anymore. But if that case, I'll try to find something super, super similar and I'll link them down below. But um, I have shoes from, I've got a couple of pair of designer shoes. I have random cheaper shoes from Walmart. I have shoes of like all sorts of different price ranges. Um, and uh, disclaimer, this is not me in any way, shape, or form trying to like show off or, you know, trying to, to show off all of these shoes that I have. It's just, I have a lot of them and some of them are really cool and I, you know, just kind of want to share them. So first off, we're going to start with like the more like boring category, which is going to be flats. I only own two pairs of flats. Um, and they're nothing fancy, but the first one is like everyday really, they're really grungy, so I ignore them. But they're a pair of moccasins. Here they are. Hello. They're really grungy and beat up because these are my just going out, running to the grocery store, shoes, taking my dog outside kind of shoes. Like these are literally just throw them on really quickly and walk out the door. Um, nothing fancy. I got these from Walmart. I think I paid like seven bucks for them or something like that, but they're very comfortable. This is my second pair. I had a black pair and I wore them to death and then we got a puppy and he chewed them apart. So I got a, a new pair, but yeah, they're really gross and grungy, but like I wear them basically every single day. So <laughs> these are like my everyday shoes, um, but they're super comfortable. You can't go wrong with a pair of comfy moccasins. So I am. So I love those. And then these ones I got for Christmas, but haven't worn them yet because they don't fit the best. These are a pair of Toms that I got um, and they don't really fit all that much, all that well. I don't know because I had a pair of Toms and I wore them to the point where I had holes in the toes because I wore them so much and I had to throw them out. So I asked for a new pair and my grandma got me a pair, um, these ones. And I just don't know if it's just because I haven't worn them enough, but they're incredibly stiff and they cut my feet up whenever I wear them. So I don't know if I just have to break these in, but they're also like slightly too small to wear with socks. Um, and I'd have to wear them with socks because I don't, this is the only pair of shoes I wear without socks just cause I don't wear them for long enough to like, you know, but these I would have to wear with socks and they're like a slightly too small to wear with socks. So I have to wear them without and then they hurt to wear because they scratch my feet up. But I don't know, Toms are cute and everything. And I just, I gotta break these in or something because they're so incredibly comfortable, but for some reason I just can't wear them as much as I'd like to. I don't know, but yeah, so there's a pair of Toms. Um, if you don't know what Toms are, it's a really good organization. Um, and for every pair of Toms you buy, I believe they donate a pair of shoes to a child in need. So pretty cool. Um, I'll link Toms down below so you can, you know, check them out and everything, but they make really cute shoes, really comfy shoes. It just sucks that these ones are not as comfortable as the other pair I had. So, but those are the only two, like, flats I have. So now we're going to move on to sneakers or tennis shoes, trainers, whatever, whatever you want to call them. Um, I have a couple of those. Um, so the first ones, and please ignore, <laughs> these are my Nikes. Um, please ignore this. I, um, was wearing them to work and I dropped a bottle of nail polish and yeah, you can't get that out, but they're still, they're still good, but like ignore that, please. So, but these are my Nikes. Um, they're incredibly old and gross, so I don't know what kind they are. I don't know really anything about them except for the fact that they're Nikes and I wear them to work out and go, um, do tasking at work. And that's about it. <laughs> so, but they're comfy. Um, yeah, as you can see, they're quite old. Had a, quite a couple years worth 
of wear on them. So I'll show you the one that does not have nail polish on it, so it's not distracting. Yeah, here it is. See? So, just, you know, nothing fancy. Just a nice pair of jogging shoes. So, um, they do hurt my feet after a while just because I think they're either not broken in or they might not have proper arch support. I don't know, they, but um, after a while they do kind of hurt my feet, so I can only wear them for a couple of hours, but for working out and stuff, they do definitely get the job done. So, yeah. Um, I got these quite a few years ago at Kohl's. I don't remember how much I paid for them, but um, they're doing their job. Eventually I'll replace them with a nicer pair, but for now, they're doing it, and I am so bummed out about this. I'm so bummed, because, like... And right before I dropped this bottle of nail polish, I dropped the bottle of clear top coat. So, like, of course I had to get the colored one on. This one. My, one of my friends was like, you should drop the bottle, should drop another bottle and try to mimic the style on this one, and then you can have matching them. Like, no. But, so, those are my Nikes. And then I have, this is like one of my most worn pair of shoes. These are my black Vans. These are the Skate Highs, which is my favorite style of Van. So, and they're just all black. So, I love these so much. Um, these are the shoes I wore when I was in uh, school to get my esthetician's license. Um, just because they're incredibly, incredibly comfortable. Like, I could wear these all day. They never hurt my feet. Um, they're just super comfy and, you know, slip resistant and I love these shoes so much. So these are the Skate Highs, which is my preferred style of van. They're the all blacks. I got them um, from the van store. Um, I don't remember how much I paid for them. I want to say it was 80. I could be wrong, but yeah, they're just your classic, can't go wrong, classic pair of, pair of vans. So I love them. They're super comfy. I wear them constantly, all the time. Um, these shoes come with me to conventions, I wear them when I run to the grocery store, I wear them running errands, I just, I love these shoes. So, um, this is my third pair of Vans. Uh, my other two pairs are falling apart. Um, one of them I had to throw out because the shoelaces ripped in half, literally, and they were getting old anyway, so I was like, you know what, I'll just toss them. So, and then the other one, I lost one of them, so, like, literally, like, I lost one of the shoes, so, but I love these, so definitely recommend a pair of vans if you're looking for some comfy sneakers definitely i used to wear converse um when i was in high school and these are so much more comfortable than converse um because converse are really really like tight and skinny and the material is super thin and just they get uncomfortable after a while these are so nice so i love these and then the last pair of sneakers i have are a pair of creepers they are these ones right here. I love these. My entire family hates these shoes. <laughs> they all think they are incredibly ugly, but like, you know what? I love them. Um, so here they are. So just a pair of hollow sneakers. Um, Christine from Simply No Logical would be very proud. So they're super, super pretty. I love these. Um, so these are a pair of creepers. I got them off of some random site on the internet. I'm pretty sure I can hunt a pair down for you guys. I'm pretty sure if you just Google hollow creepers you'll probably find this shoe hanging around um i don't remember how much they were i want to say they were 60 but i could be wrong so but um they're super super comfy um the only critique i have with these is it's really hard to match outfits with them um because they are you know hollow so like they don't really go with many things other than black white gray and like maybe some other color but it's very difficult to find things to wear to match these. Um, so I want to get a pair of Nether Creepers, but I want to get them um, black so I can wear them with more stuff and match them to things. So, but it's my only problem with these shoes is that they're really hard to put into a look because it just, hollow is just very hard to match with everyday attire. So I typically only wear them to anime conventions <laughs> where it's okay to wear um, fun colored shoes like this. So, but yeah. So those were all of my sneakers, and now we're going to move on to the <laughs> the big category, um, which is going to be my um, my boots. So I've got a lot of boots. So at this time, um, I recommend you go get a snack, get something to sip on, because we're going to be here for a while. Because I've got 
a lot of boots. Those are like my favorite fangums. I have too many. So we're going to start with this pair, which is very old. I've had these since high school. Um, I love these shoes. But again, these are another one where I don't really know how to pair them with anything. It's really hard to wear them with things other than something that's all black. So, but they're cute though. Um, so these I got years ago off of uh, Just Fab when I had a membership with them. Um, and I love them. I don't think they make these anymore, unfortunately, but I'll try to find something similar to link down. I don't even know what they were called. I don't remember um, really anything about them other than I got them on Just Fab and they were $30. So, but they're so cute. They remind me of like, like a, a, I, I don't know. I think of a vampire whenever I see these. I don't know why, but they make me think of a vampire. Um, so, but yeah, they're really, really comfortable. Um, although they are starting to see their last days. Um, I might have to eventually toss them because I had to um, actually pull the insole out of this one, like the one that actually you can kind of see. Yeah, I had to pull the actual insole out of this shoe because it was ripping up and coming open the bottom of my foot. So I had to take it out and um, like, it's okay, but then I had to put new insoles in them and now they're starting to get kind of uncomfortable. But so I probably can get a couple more years out of them. But that just sucks that the insole came out of this one, unfortunately. But so I like these; they're pretty comfy, um, and they're really nice for if you're wearing something all black. They really kind of pizzazz the outfit, um, kind of a statement piece. So these guys are pretty nice. So I like those. So then we'll move on to another very worn pair of shoes. We're gonna need these ones. So these I got for Christmas last year, um, or two years ago. These are from Dolls Kill. So, and they're just a black combat boot with this really fun gold chain detailing. Um, I love these. I have worn these to death. Literally, I've worn them so much that like, this is happening on both of the shoes. Like they're starting to rip away from the sole, unfortunately, which really, really sucks. Um, I wear these to death. I wear these so much. So, but yeah, like as you can see, I, they're starting to see their last days. So, but really, really cute. Um, really comfy. Again, go with pretty much any outfit. And I get so many compliments on these shoes. Whenever I wear these, I always have people asking like, oh my god, where'd you get your shoes? I love your shoes. So, and they're just really simple, but like badass at the same time. So, I love these again. These are from Doll's Kill. So, and then I have, this is kind of like a winter boot almost, are these guys. So these are also Tom's. Um, these are a pair that I found at Ross. Um, I think I paid 30 for them. I could be wrong. Um, so, but they're just a really nice, comfy, warm shoe. I wear them um, during the winter time. Mainly they're not very good for snow protection, so I don't like to wear them in like really deep snow because they're, you know, not meant for like keeping your feet dry, but they're meant to keep your feet warm. So they are very warm in the winter time. So I will um, wear them typically um, when it's cold outside and so, but they're really cute. So, and yeah, I got these from Ross. Um, so I just really like them. So. Then I have kind of a nicer pair of ankle boots, which are these guys right here. So these are from Maurice's. So they are just like your, your nice little Chelsea boot. So very cute. Not the most comfortable shoe I own. I can only wear these for about three hours and then they start to hurt my feet, um, which sucks because they look like they would be incredibly comfortable, but they're really, they're really hard and like the arch is a little severe so I do my feet do start hurting after a couple of hours of wearing these but they're really comfy I wear them to work a lot um just because they're a nice kind of like fancier shoe um you can still wear them casual but you can also dress them up or you can dress them down um depending on what you're wearing but they are a really nice shoe I do really like these a lot so um yeah my mom actually steals these from me a lot um we're basically the same size. She's a seven. I'm a seven and a half. So she steals a lot of my shoes. Excuse me. And these are like one of her favorite pairs of shoes to steal. 
So, but yeah, they're nice and they're very comfy. I just am upset that I can't wear them for longer than three hours before I want to tear my foot off. So, and then we have one of my newer additions. Um, these were a graduation present to myself. Um, they are a pair of Uggs. <laughs> Here they are. Hello. I love these shoes. I am a firm believer in Uggs now. Um, for the longest time in high school and everything, I didn't understand why people wore these. I thought they were ugly. I didn't get it. I didn't understand. And then I was like, you know what? They're actually really cute and I want a pair. Um, <laughs> because I bought a pair of like Ugg knockoffs from Rue 21 years ago. And they were so cute. They were black and they had little pom-poms on them. And I wore them to literal death. And then I had to throw them out and I was devastated. And so I was like, you know what? I should just buy myself a normal pair of Uggs, an actual pair. So I treated myself for my graduation and I bought these. Um, I did a pretty good job of keeping them, you know, not all scuffed and covered in salt. And I did um, treat them with a um, shoe spray. So, but yeah, they've got, um, it's a little kind of hard to see here, but they've got like black ribbons down the back. So these are, I think, like the mid length. They're not the tall ones and they're not the short ones. They're like the mid length. So these are the most expensive pair of shoes I own, but I love them. I am so proud. I'm so happy that I bought these. Like I, I'm a believer now. I believe in Uggs. Like these are the most comfy pair of shoes I've ever put my foot in. So, and I wear them so much. Like I wear them almost as much as I wear these. So, and the only reason I wear these more is because these were not, um, $200. So, So therefore, um, I don't mind getting those dirty, whereas these, I really don't want to get them dirty ever because they were <laughs> $200 again. So, but yeah, I love them. I honestly think they were worth every penny. So when these, you know, eventually meet the end of their run, I might get another pair, but they're nice. Then we have the oldest pair of shoes that I have which are these reggedy pair of combat boots. These are so old. I got these um, from Tilly's when the one in Brookfield Square um, opened up by me. Um, they are um, the brand Bamboo. And um, yeah, these are, these, these suckers are old. Like they are, they have seen some, some days. Um, but they're really cool because you can fold them down and they have camel printed on the inside. So you fold them down and then you snap them down here. I could snap it. Yeah, and then you snap them down. And then, yeah, they look like that. And they show off the camel, which is kind of cool. I never really wore them um, folded down just because I liked them better not folded. But yeah, so I don't wear these as much anymore because they are starting to get really old and they're starting to get really uncomfortable. But I don't want to throw them out because. I've had them for literal years and like they're very nostalgic for me so like I don't know eventually I will bite the bullet and toss these but for now I'm, I'm hanging on to them so but yeah I got them at Tilly's can't tell you how much I bought them for how much they were I literally could not tell you um and I guarantee you could probably just google black combat boots and you'd probably find these I don't know if you would find the exact ones with the camel on the inside to fold over but I don't know. They're cool though. And I love them. So they've been to many places. They've seen their fair share of concerts. They've been to conventions with me. Like these were the shoes I lived in for quite a couple of years in high school. So got two more pairs of boots. Um, this other pair is a pretty old pair. These are, I don't even know. I got them from a thrift store. So they're just a pair of brown suede. You can see how old they are. I have to actually rubber band this tassel because it comes undone all the time and I constantly have to re-glue it. So but they are incredibly old and beaten up. So I got these from a thrift store. So they're just a pair of brown suede um, knee-high boots. So the only problem with these shoes is they fall down constantly. They don't stay up so I constantly have to pull them up. So I wear them with um, knee-high socks so that way they don't slip down on me. But yeah, so they're really, really old, getting really raggedy. The lining is actually pulling away on the inside of the shoe. So putting them on is always a challenge, but I don't want to throw them out because I literally love them so much. 
so but eventually I am going to have to throw them out because like when that starts happening you you know you have to throw your shoes out so but the thing is I've searched and scoured the internet and I cannot find a pair of shoes that looks like this I can't because I want to replace them but I can't find anything that looks like this I can find suede shoes with little tassels on them but nothing that looks like this <laughs> so if anyone finds anything similar to to this to what this to, to this shoe if anyone finds something that looks like this please let me know link me to it so I can finally toss these and buy a new pair because this is ridiculous like honestly like I just I, I need to throw these out but I just can't <laughs> so because I love them I wear them to the renaissance fair like these are my go-to renaissance fair shoes because they're just so comfortable but like there's a time when you just have to let go and clearly I don't know when that time is because I have a problem. So my last pair of boots are another pair I got from the thrift store. They are these right here. I love these boots. So these ones I've only had for a couple of months. I bought them around um, December. They're in such good quality. They must have literally like someone bought them and probably either had buyer's remorse or lost the receipt or didn't want them or anymore anymore or something like that and then donated them because they are in such good quality and they're from a thrift store so I paid ten dollars for them they are rocket dog which I did not know um was a slightly like designer brand um so I tried to find a pair similar to them so I could see how much they actually were in comparison to what I paid for them and I think they were about like eighty dollars which I think is pretty cool I named them for ten so but so they're ever too ever slightly too small but not enough to hurt my feet I can wear them for a couple of hours um probably four max and then they start to get a little painful but not nearly as painful as some of my other shoes so um, I wear these to work a lot um they have a small little zip down here to kind of tighten them back up but then you just lace them up like normal shoes so they're really really comfy um pretty firm sole so they do hurt your feet after a little bit but they're really comfortable they look really cute with um, a pair of jeans they look cute with leggings I'm excited to wear them during the summertime with some dresses um, so they would look really cute with tights like I love these so I was very happy when I found these shoes um, again Goodwill like that's where I get like a majority of my clothes too so I was really excited to find these and the fact that they're in such good condition I was like mind blown so Wow, look at that, guys. We've reached the end of the boot section. I hope you're all still here. So the last category of shoes I have to share for you is my kind of nicer shoes. A good majority of them are heels. I have a pair of um, wedge sandals and then a pair of heeled ankle boots. The other ones are heels. So um, these shoes I don't wear very often because I meant they're meant for more nicer places and I don't go to many nice places. Um, but they're nice for like a, a date night or a special occasion. Um, so the first pair is another pair I got from Tilly's years ago. I'm um, again, they're the bamboo brand. They are these wedges. Really, really cute, but I don't wear these nearly enough um, because again, I don't have many nice places to wear them to. So they're more of a special occasion shoe. Um, I will wear them to like family barbecues and cookouts and stuff during the summertime. Um, and they're pretty comfortable because they're a wedge. So they're going to be more comfortable than a pair of heels. Um, so, but very cute again I could not tell you how much I paid for them because I bought them quite a while ago I bought them right around when the Tillies in Brookfield um, here in Wisconsin opened up which was a couple quite a quite a few years ago um, so but they're a really cute pair of shoes um, I wear them mainly just with dresses during the summertime they'd be cute with shorts too so but just a standard pair of wedges so pretty firm sole um, but not too high of a wedge. I mean, that's a pretty high wedge, but I walk in heels anyway. So for me, this is not high. I can see this being a little too high and a little harder to walk in for someone who's not experienced in walking in heels. But for me, this is fine and I can wear them for a couple of hours. So, but really cute. So, and then these are a more recent purchase of mine. I got these off of Poshmark during the summertime. These are a pair of Jeffrey Campbell's are these not like the cutest things you've ever seen in your life like I love these I saw these and I was like well I I need them I need them like immediately in my life so they're a little 
a little beat up. There's a little wear and tear because they were secondhand. I did get them off of Poshmark, but I love them and I literally don't care because like they are just so cute. They are Jeffrey Campbell. I'm not sure exactly of the style, but I can probably figure it out for you. I think France, maybe. I don't, I don't know. It says France 7.5 there. So I think maybe that's the style. I'm not sure. I'll put it down there, but yeah. So they're very like, they make me think of pirates. Like I think of a pirate when I look at the shoe. So they have a non-heeled version of this shoe that I want to get that I can wear to the Renaissance Fair because these are very uncomfortable. I can only wear these for about two hours and then I have to take them off and switch to flats, which sucks because they are so cute, but I cannot wear them for very long because they will hurt my feet. So very, very hard sole. Um, so, but I want to get the boot version of these that do not have a heel. So that way I can, um, wear them more and wear them to the Renaissance Fair and live my pirate dreams. So, but I love these a lot. Again, I got those off of Poshmark. I think I got a good deal on them. They were originally when I first stumbled upon them. I think they were like 90 and then I waited a little bit and then the seller kept dropping the price and eventually she dropped them down, um, low enough that I could justify getting them. So, and I absolutely adore them. I wore these on my graduation day. So, all right. And then we have another thrift store find. These ones I hardly wear. I've worn them, I think, maybe once because they are probably the most painful pair of shoes that I own, um, which are these incredible <laughs> heeled boots. They're like Jeffrey Campbellita knockoffs. So, super, super cute. I bought them from a thrift store. Um, bought them from Goodwill. I bought them for um, a Harley Quinn cosplay, the Suicide Squad, because I her shoes that she has for um, that outfit are so cute, but so expensive. And like I saw these and I was like, these would be really cute with it. I can't wear these for more than like 20 minutes. Like <laughs> these are so uncomfortable. And this is the skinniest heeled shoe I have. And I find walking in heels with really skinny heels is very difficult for me. Um, I need a nice thick chunky heel. So the heel on this is a little bit too skinny for me. So I do worry about falling and rolling my ankle or something like that. But they're so cute, but they are so uncomfortable. Like they, they hurt a lot and it just breaks my heart because these are freaking adorable. Look at that. These are so cute. They are originally from Charlotte Russe is what it says on the inside. So they're from Charlotte Russe, but I got them at Goodwill. Um, for, I yeah, think the price tag is still in here. I got them at Goodwill. I paid $7 for them. So, I don't know if you can see that. Goodwill stickers in there. So I paid $7 for these. And um, I've worn them literally once for about 20 minutes. And then I had to take them off because my foot was on fire. So, that sucks. I'll have to get insoles for them or something. But, like, they're so cute. And now we're moving on to my last two pair of heels, which are two more pairs of designer shoes. Um, these two are my pride and joy. <laughs> these are my two absolute favorite pairs of shoes that I own and I need to find more excuses and more places to wear them because like literally I wear them maybe three times a year and like these are my babies. So we'll start off with my Demonias, which are these guys. My dad hates these shoes. He calls them my kiss shoes. Um, but just, I mean, look at these beauties, honestly, right? Like, oh my God. These are like weapons for your feet. So these are just, they're beasts. Like they are just genuine beasts, but I love them two pieces. They're so cute. So this is a pair of Demonias. I forget specifically the style, but I got them off of Amazon for, um, I think, I think a hundred a couple of years ago. And I wore them to Pride Fest. I spent hours in these shoes. Like I can walk in these for quite some time and they don't hurt my feet. The only time, only reason I had to take them off the couple of times I've worn them is because, um, I fell. <laughs> not because of the shoe. It was not the shoe's fault. The first time my ankle gave out when I was wearing them and I just kind of crumbled because my ankle gave out from underneath me and I just fell. I was in a standing position and I just hit the ground and twisted my ankle, um, got a sprain and everything, but, um, which was funny because I had been running and walking in these for literally hours. It was totally fine. I was just standing there enjoying a fish taco and my ankle was like, guess what? You're not going to stand anymore. You suck. And I fell and I had to take them off. And then the third time, the second time, I was at Anime Central and I was minding my own business, casually just walking down the stairs, living my life. And my ankle gave out again. And then I fell down the stairs and had to take them off. So, but 
I love these and I need more places to wear them, more events to wear them too, because like, I just, oh my god, like, look at these, look at these, and the, the little heart on the front and the spikes and the, oh my god, they're so badass, but like, I feel like such a badass bitch when I wear these, like, I, mm, so freaking cute, like, oh my god just adorable and like the very extreme height these make me like quite a few inches taller when I wear them so I feel nice and tall and like I could kick your butt so and now moving on to the last pair of shoes I have for you today which um is my absolute all-time actual top top-notch favorite pair of shoes I own which are my Jeffrey Campbell spiked Lita's I love these shoes. These are, oh my god, they're missing a couple of spikes because I've owned them for so long, but they have replacement spikes. I just had to figure out how to um, put those in. So, but I love these so much. I have the box still and everything. So there's the replacement spikes on the inside of the lid. So I love these. These I have seen some, these have seen some shit, honestly. Like, these are so, like, oh my god, I love these shoes so much. I want a pair of normal Lita's because these are only for, like, fancier occasions. The spikes make them very difficult to wear for just everyday, everyday use. The spikes make them a little bit too kind of formal, a little bit too edgy for me to just wear them out, out and about. I want to get the normal ones, the plain ones that have just the solid wooden heel because those are a little bit more appropriate for everyday wear. But, like, I love these so much. They are so cute. They are so comfortable. I can wear them for hours and just, I love them. I love them so much. So look at all those spikes on the heel. They're very, point, they're very painful to put on and off, but they're so comfortable. I got them off of the Jeffrey Campbell website. Um, I don't remember how much they were exactly. Um, I think they were 190. I, again, I'll, I could be wrong. I'll link it down below. But um, these are really hard to find. You can't really find them anymore. Um, I think the only Lita's they have available on the Jeffrey Campbell site, I think, are the traditional Lita's, as well as a couple of patterned ones, but the spiked ones are really hard to find. Um, I purchased these after um, seeing Graveyard Girl, um, after seeing uh, Bunny open these on her channel quite a few years ago. And I was like, I have to, I have to have those. Like, I have to have them. And I'm so happy that I have them because, like, Oh my god, I love these damn shoes so much. Again, I need more places to wear them. I need more occasions to wear them too because they are the love of my life. And they just sit in their box because I don't go enough yet to enough nice places to wear these shoes. But like, I love these. This is my aesthetic in shoe form right here. So, so oh look, I found a pair of shoes that I completely forgot about just kind of sitting here. Um, these ones, I'm not really sure what to classify them as. Um, they're like, I guess, ankle boots. I don't really know what the term for these are, but here they are. Very cute. These, I don't remember where I got them from. Um, so, but they're just a cute little pair of, I don't really know what you would call these shoes. They're not ankle boots. They're not sneakers. They're not flats. I don't really know. I know there's a, a word for this style of shoe, but I don't know what it is. So, but these are another pair of like everyday shoes. I wear these literally all the time. So, um, Again, really cute. <laughs> my cat wants in my room, but he's more, I'm almost done pipping. Hold on. So, but yeah, so these are very cute little pair of shoes. Um, I just kind of glanced down and I saw them. I was like, oh, wait, nope, I forgot those. So here they are. Um, yeah, they're very beat up because I wear them all the time, primarily to work. So I had to replace the, the shoelaces because my shoelaces will snap in half on me from how tightly I lace up my shoes. I'll pull and they'll just, they'll snap. So I had to replace the shoelaces. I love them so and yeah that is that is it that is all of my shoes um so I hope you guys enjoyed that let me know what my favorite what your favorite pair of shoes that you saw today was um what pair you would want to buy if you saw them what pair you're interested in wearing a pair that you would never wear a pair that you if you have any of these shoes let me know um and yeah and if you see again if you see any shoes lounging around on the internet that look like these please let me know so i can throw these out and get some new ones because this is ridiculous so but yeah so um again i will to the best of my ability link 
um, these shoes, where to get them. Down below, some of them, I don't think they make any more, so, but I'll do my best to find similar pairs to them. Um, and I'll link them down below with the prices and everything. And Yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, make sure to give it a like, um, subscribe to my channel. Um, I'm going to be having a lot more like fashion and makeup videos. Um, and also follow me on Instagram for lots of makeup looks. Um, I am currently doing a two-week makeup challenge that one of my friends um, sent me. And today was the day, the first day of the prompt. Today's prompt was a spring look. So I did this cute like pink look with fake freckles. I wish I had freckles. So <laughs> this cute little pink look using my um, Jeffree Star Jawbreaker palette. Um, if you want to see a tutorial on this look, just let me know and I can film that for you. But yeah, so anyway, um, I'm Nello <laughs> and I have a uh, shoe problem. So yeah, hope you like the video. Um, give it a like and a subscribe and I will see you guys next time.